Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goals Bible Manchester City 4, Liverpool 1, full time at its own over at the Etihad Stadium. It feels like a bit of a statement win from Manchester City. They were absolutely superb in this match for Liverpool. It's an afternoon which shows how far they have fallen. I mean, how far they have fallen. Title race is back on, people. It is back on. It's been a comprehensive uh, 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 performance from Manchester City no other words for it admittingly uh, Liverpool competed in the first half but they were never I mean they were never uh, seem to, to, to actually recover from that second goal just after the break uh, City have momentum now City have momentum once again Champions League football now looks a distant dream for Klopp and his Liverpool team so Really, I mean, this is this is incredible. Let's just City's win run. Let's just take a look at that. I mean, that's seven wins in a row for Manchester City now. And those games, they have smashed 27 goals and only conceded two. That's a fair sum stuff from Pep Guardiola's side. And this one came, of course, this one came without Erling Haaland. That is a big surprise. That is a big surprise. But let's just quickly, uh, let me just quickly show you guys the table here. You're looking at it now, Arsenal, they do have a match uh, right now, but Arsenal, 69 points, 28 games played, Manchester City played 27 and they have 61. So they do have one game remaining. Of course, they won today, though they closed the gap. They've closed the gap on Arsenal, so the gap, uh, the difference now is five points. Five points only for Liverpool. It's another loss, it's another loss. So. I don't know. Their next game is, I think, Chelsea. It's going to be difficult for Liverpool now to finish in the top four. Out of the FA Cup, out of the Carabao Cup, uh, out of the Champions League. And now they're not even going to finish in the top four. So Liverpool are really in the mud at this moment in time. But outstanding performance by Manchester City. Uh, man of the match, who should I give it to? Uh, uh, it's definitely Grealish. I thought Grealish was outstanding. He scored a goal. He assisted as well as... Created a lot of chances in the game. He was he was on display in the game. He's not just a goal and the assist. He he he's done magnificently throughout the whole game, taking on defenders, creating chances for that front three. But look, I'll give it to uh, Grealish. Who do you think is your man of the match? Do let me know in the comments uh, in the comment sections as well. But that is it, people. Manchester City have won this game. We'll see what Arsenal does now. But it's, it's up to Arsenal now to, 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 to extend that gap between Manchester City. So we'll see. But massive, massive win for Manchester City. Uh, do leave your man of the match in the comment sections as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.